What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we have the launch of Season of the Chosen in Destiny 2, which of course sees the introduction of a bunch of new weapons, as well as some reissued or reprised weapons that are dropping between different activities and playlists in the game. So, in this video we'll cover new world and playlist weapons, as well as Nightfall weapons, new items from Battlegrounds, the Season Pass, then of course new rewards from activities like Trials, and some of the standout perk rolls to look out for on new items this season. So, as always guys, if you do enjoy this one, feel free to drop a like and also share the video with your friends. But now, let's get into it. And so, since we don't have a ton to speak about in terms of exotic weapons right now, let's get immediately into some of the legendary weapons. And I will timestamp the different playlists that we're talking about in the description box below. But initially, for the Salvager's Salvo, which we spoke about earlier today, of course it is a lightweight frame grenade launcher. And it comes with quick launch, as well as spike grenades. But then the traits for this one consist of Ambitious Assassin and Demolitionist, as well as Vorpal Weapon and Chain Reaction. So obviously a pretty interesting one. But in terms of weapons that come with completely random rolls right here, we do have the reprised Shadow Price from Destiny 1. The standard version of this weapon can drop randomly in Nightfalls, and then the Adept version will drop in the Ordeal Grandmaster. We're looking at the Adept right here, but the perk rolls are the same. It's simply the case that the Adept versions can socket Adept mods, and also come with the exclusive shader. But of course Shadow Price is Precision Frame, and for traits it can get a new bonus called Bottomless Grief. While you're the last living member of your fire team, each takedown refills your magazine. That's a pretty cool one, but it can also roll with Surplus, Killing Wind, Fourth Times the Charm, Feeding Frenzy, or Overflow in the first trait slot, then the second trait slot can get one for all. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration, but also Disruption Break, Thresh, Swashbuckler, Unrelenting, and Dragonfly. Of course the Palindrome is another weapon that's returned to the game. This time it is an adaptive frame Void Hand Cannon, and in terms of trait slots it can get Subsistence, Quick Draw, Overflow, Killing Wind, Bottomless Grief, and Outlaw in the first slot, as well as One for All, Thresh, Unrelenting, Rampage, Rangefinder, or High Impact Reserves in the second slot. And then of course there is the Swarm, also one of the new Nightfall weapons, and this is a high impact frame machine gun, dropping with arc damage. Importantly for traits, in the first slot it can get Killing Wind, Outlaw, Bottomless Grief, Dynamic Sway Reduction, or Surplus, and then the second slot can get Zen Moment, Slideways, Tap the Trigger, One for All, Dragonfly, or Vorpal Weapon. Now though, let's move on to new Trials weapons, and of course normal and adept variants coming for Trials of Osiris this season. We've got Solar Scar, this is the new sword. It's gonna be a Solar Caster Frame Sword, and for traits you can get Tireless Blade, Relentless Strikes, or Energy Transfer in the first slot, and then it can roll Thresh, Vorpal Weapon, On Guard, Assassin's Blade, Chain Reaction, or Counter Attack. Some pretty interesting bonuses right there, and Chain Reaction also could be a very interesting one. And then there is the Igneous Hammer, a new aggressive frame solar hand cannon for Trials, and it can get Quick Draw, Killing Wind, Outlaw, Rapid Hit, and Subsistence. Or in the second trait slot, Celerity, Rampage, One for All, Snapshot Sights, and Moving Target. And then finally we have the reprised Messenger Adept, a high impact frame pulse rifle this time in the kinetic slot. And for trade perks it can get rapid hit, zen moment, killing wind, outlaw, or moving target. And in the second slot, one for all, desperado. And of course reloading after a precision final blow increases your rate of fire. That could be pretty nasty on this thing. It also can get head seeker, celerity, or kill clip. It's a messenger actually looking pretty nasty right there. But now we move on to some of the new Caesar weapons and stuff that can come from Battlegrounds and the Season Pass. And initially we've got Imperial Needle. This is a new lightweight frame bow, comes with void damage. And for traits we've got Quick Draw, as well as Impulse Amplifier, which massively increases projectile velocity and increases reload speed. And then Killing Wind, or Sneak Bow, Hipfire Grip, or Archer's Tempo. But then for the second slot we can get Thresh, Wellspring, Swashbuckler, Opening Shot, Sympathetic Arsenal, or Frenzy. And with Frenzy, being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling, and reload speed for the weapon until you're out of combat. So that's an interesting new bonus. There is also the Far Future Energy Sniper Rifle that can come from Battlegrounds. This is Adaptive Frame and comes with Solar Damage. And for the traits we can get Surplus, Quick Draw, Moving Target, Slide Shot, Auto Loading Holster, or Lead from Gold. And then that second trait slot can roll Wellspring, Demolitionist, Fresh, multi-kill clip, opening shot, or frenzy. There is also the rocket launcher that can come from the Battlegrounds set. This one's high impact frame with solar damage. In terms of traits, once again this one can get impulse amplifier, but also quick draw, field prep, 
surplus or auto loading holster in the first slot, but then we've got chain reaction in the second slot which is pretty good, as well as lasting impression where rockets attach on impact and detonate after a delay which increases blast radius and damage. And that does list plus 50 for blast radius right there. That certainly sounds pretty crazy, but then we can also get unrelenting, cluster bomb, frenzy or ambitious assassin. The extraordinary rendition is a new aggressive frame kinetic SMG, and for traits we can get subsistence, overflow, surplus, zen moment, outlaw or firmly planted. And in the second slot, multi kill clip, thresh, tap the trigger, rampage, frenzy or one for all. And then we have the brass attacks which is the sidearm that you can get from the season pass, but also these are farmable in the battlegrounds activity. It's aggressive burst and deals void damage, so it is a hard hitting two burst fire sidearm right here. And we can get Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Slideways, Surplus, Rapid Hit or Threat Detector in the first slot, with One for All, Wellspring, Sympathetic Arsenal, Rampage, Dragonfly and Frenzy in the second slot. And finally for Season Pass stuff we've got Threaded Needle, a new linear fusion rifle, Precision Frame and comes with Void Damage. It can get Killing Wind, Clown Cartridge, Rapid Hit, Autoloading Holster, Rangefinder and Field Prep in the first slot, with Demolitionist, Thresh, Dragonfly, Multi-Kill Clip, Vorpal Weapon or Frenzy in the second slot. Now though let's move on to a couple of weapons that we can get from Gambit, and there is the Trinary System Solar Adaptive Frame Fusion Rifle, and apparently this can roll with Slide Shot, Ambitious Assassin, Surplus, Hipfire Grip, Grave Robber, Autoloading Holster, Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Slideways, Under Pressure, Quick Draw or Firmly Planted in the first slot, with Swashbuckler, One for All, Wellspring, Multi-Kill Clip, Thresh, Unrelenting, Tap the Trigger, Disruption Break, Demolitionist, Kill Clip, Backup Plan or High Impact Reserves in the second slot. So a lot of potential perks that can roll on these playlist weapons. There's also the bottom dollar Aggressive Frame Void Hand Cannon. This can potentially roll with Surplus, Killing Wind, Fourth Times the Charm, Pulse Monitor, Feeding Frenzy, Hipfire Grip, Subsistence, Rapid Hit, Quick Draw, Slide Shot, Range Finder or Outlaw in the first slot with Thresh, Wellspring, Unrelenting, Disruption Break, Multi-Kill Clip, High Impact Reserves, Rampage, Eye of the Storm, Demolitionist, Dragonfly, Explosive Payload or Opening Shot in the second slot. Some absolutely massive perk pulls on some of these weapons. We have the third Axiom, an Adaptive Frame Arc Pulse Rifle that can drop inside of the Vanguard playlist. That's from completing strikes and earning rank up packages. And this can roll with Slideways, Surplus, Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy, Moving Target, Genesis, Zen Moment, Rangefinder, Subsistence, Hipfire Grip, Slide Shot and Quick Draw in the first slot, with One for All, Unrelenting, Thresh, Multi Kill Clip, Sympathetic Arsenal, Dragonfly, Disruption Break, Opening Shot, Headseeker, Vorpal Weapon, Rampage and Elemental Capacitor in the second slot. There is the Royal Entry Precision Frame Rocket Launcher, also dropping in the Vanguard playlist or from Rank Up Packages, and this can get Underdog, Rangefinder, Field Prep, Threat Detector, Auto Loading Holster, Quick Draw, Impulse Amplifier, Genesis and Moving Target in the first slot, with One for All, Wellspring, Thresh, Unrelenting, Chain Reaction, Ambitious Assassin, Demolitionist, Lasting Impression, Cluster Bomb or Clown Cartridge in the second slot. And then we're on to new Crucible playlist weapons, so there is the Keening Sidearm, it's an Adaptive Frame Arc Sidearm, and it can come with Slide Shot, Pulse Monitor, Killing Wind, under Pressure, Grave Robber, Slideways, Surplus, Moving Target, Subsistence, Rapid Hit, Hipfire Grip or Threat Detector in the first slot, with Zen Moment, Dragonfly, High Impact Reserves, Multi Kill Clip, Snapshot Sights, Surrounded, Sympathetic Arsenal, Unrelenting, One for All, Thresh, Wellspring or Vorpal Weapon in the second slot. And finally there is the Frozen Orbit Aggressive Frame Void Sniper, and you could potentially get Surplus, Outlaw, Clown Cartridge, Genesis, Killing Wind, No Distractions, Autoloading Holster, Lead from Gold, Triple Tap, Moving Target, Ambitious Assassin or Firmly Planted in the first slot, with Wellspring, Thresh, Demolitionist, Multi Kill Clip, Kill Clip, High Impact Reserves, Vorpal Weapon, Box Breathing, Dragonfly, Opening Shot, Snapshot Sights and Quick Draw in the second slot. We should also mention that the world pool has been updated with the return of the Eternal Blazon, I believe from back in year one. This can drop with full auto trigger system, Killing Wind, Overflow, Slide Shot, Rapid Hit, Quick Draw, Range Finder, Kill Clip, One for All, Unrelenting, Disruption Break 
or Thresh. Retro Futurist is also back with bonuses like Jewel Loader and Trench Barrel. And then Time Worn Spire is back for the Iron Banner, of course the Rapid Fire Frame Kinetic Pulse Rifle, with Feeding Frenzy, Quick Draw, Moving Target, Under Pressure, Slideways and Subsistence in the first trade slot, with Rampage, Vorpal Weapon, One For All, Iron Grip, Iron Reach. And this massively improves weapon range at the cost of stability, but also Iron Gaze, which is another returning perk from previous banner. And we're also seeing the reprise of the Multimax CCX SMG. This is a lightweight frame kinetic, and in the first slot you can get Killing Wind, Subsistence, Hipfire Grip, Threat Detector, Quick Draw, or Dynamic Sway Reduction, with the second slot seeing Kill Clip, One For All, Unrelenting, Iron Reach, Iron Gaze, or Iron Grip. And those are essentially all of the weapons and potential trait rolls that we can get for Season of the Chosen. Massive shout out to like GG, who have a really awesome Destiny database where you can view potential perk rolls and all those kinds of things, so I'll link like GG down in the description box below, and if there is a particular weapon you want to look up, then you can just search for it or browse for it on the site. But for today guys, that's everything we have to round up in this video, so as always, I hope this one has been useful. If it has, a like rating down below very much helps us out on the channel. Also feel free to get subscribed so I can keep you posted with all the new content. But for now, thanks as always for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day.